first thing I'm going to do is start off with the foundation. My skin got a little bit darker over the holiday, so I'm actually having to use a darker foundation than usual. And I'm going to be using something quite heavy because I want Elsa's skin to look flawless and very blank. So we're not going to be using any blush, any contour. We just want a flat color. And then after that, we're going to be moving on to the eyebrows. First thing I'm going to do is brush them into shape and then I'm going to fill them in, but I'm mainly going to fill them in at the top. I'm going to avoid filling them in at the bottom just because I want to make them look a little bit more arched than they usually are. After I've filled in my brows, I'm going to go and use a metallic white shadow stick and I'm going to apply this all over the lid. If you don't have something like this, then just use a regular primer. It will do exactly the same thing. And I'm also going to bring that up underneath the arch of the brows, a little bit of a highlight. For the eye makeup I'm going to be using two different colours, a blue and then a purple, and these are shadow sticks so you need to blend them quite quickly. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the navy and I'm going to apply this in a triangle shape right down the centre of my lids. But then what I'm going to do afterwards is layer a purple over that, just around and over the lid. And then while it's still quite easy to blend I'm going to be taking an ordinary C-shaped brush and I'm going to blend that. And you also want to bring that down around the corner of the eye down onto the lower lid. And I'm going to be bringing it up especially in the inner corner close to the brows. And then I'm going to go back with that navy colour and bring that around the corner before blending it out again. After I've applied that blue, I'm going to go back in with that brush and then blend it as far as I can on the lower lid. And the easiest way to do this is to look up into a mirror. It's going to end up helping a lot because otherwise if you're looking straight into the mirror, you can sometimes blend that colour a little too far down. And this will help you keep it as close to the lash line as possible. After that's all been blended out, I'm going to use a black eyeshadow and I'm going to be taking a small blending brush and I'm going to line that right along the lashes on my upper lid and then I'm going to be doing a C shape in the corner of the eye. So you want to bring that up into the crease and also do exactly the same on the lower lid, bring that down and around. On top of that I'm going to be using a cosmetic glitter and I'm just going to use my fingers for this and apply this right in the centre of the lid. And then I'm also going to reapply that shadow stick in the inner corner so I've got something which is a little sticky and it's going to hold the glitter a little bit better. And I'm going to be using that small little blending brush just to get that right on the inner corner and then down along the lower lid. Before I apply any eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and apply my lenses. I'll normally always apply my lenses before I do eyeliner because it's so easy to get your eyeliner onto the lenses. So you want to apply that first just to make sure that no makeup can get onto it and then irritate your eye. And once it's on, I'm going to line my eyes with some black eyeliner. I'm also going to put some mascara on the lower lashes. And then on top of that, I'm going to put some double layered false lashes. And once they've been applied, for the lips we're going to be using two different products. We're going to be using a lip tart and we're going to be using a mulberry lip pencil. I'm going to be doing something slightly different just to create the illusion of slightly bigger lips. And what you want to do at first is you want to run a line right down the centre of your lips. You're going to fill out the corners and then you're going to do a little bit of a double T shape. So you want to do a T shape on the top lip and then do another T shape on the bottom except this one's going to be a little bit upside down. Now start filling it out so that it's not such clean cut lines and I'm going to be using an eyeliner brush for blending this out just to help get those sharp corners. And once that's been blended out I'm going to be using a much darker lip tar on top of it. For the moment I just used a lip gloss just to help the lip liner move around a little bit better. Over that I went and applied a black lip tar but I applied this very lightly because obviously if I applied too much it would just make my lips look black and we want to give it that really beautiful blood red colour. And then just to soften the edges on the upper and the lower lip, I took a cotton bud and just ran that around the edges. And that's it. You're done. You once said 